the floating driveway support wall. Just over 12 years ago, we took some old patio stones and some metal and we built these walls. These are laterally stable and yet they have the ability to move up and down with the seasonal ground frost. With the help of some old pictures, we'll go through the build sequence of the structure step by step. I must mention that my wife installed the stone facing when I returned to work, so I don't have any footage of that part of the build. Be sure to call before you dig and follow all standard safety practices. To begin, after all the utility locations have been marked, we'll start by clearing away some soil from the existing culvert ends. At around six inches in from each end, drill out and bolt in six galvanized three inch by one half inch diameter bolts and nuts with four of those positioned over the top of the pipe and one on each side of the pipe like this. Be sure to leave those threads pointing outwards as those will be our anchor points for the wall. Once that's done, extend the old culvert by sliding on a slightly larger diameter pipe than the existing one. Our old culvert was 15 inches so we obtained and slid on a 16 inch diameter pipe. Once that's on there, drill another hole on top, all the way through both pipes. Drop in another bolt and lock both pipes together with a nut. Holding that new pipe with one bolt allows the pipe to easily move up and down with the wall during the frost season. Ignore the metal screening for now. These patio stones measure 24 inches by 30 and are 1.75 inches thick. Because these aren't reinforced, they're easy to cut with a masonry blade and a cheap power saw. With a large hammer and wearing safety glasses, I chipped the stones away to shape and fit them over and around the culvert. On one side of the driveway, the stones are oriented with their 30 inch sides laying on the ground and on the other with their 24 inch sides. Do what works best for you. Securing the stone facing. The three inch angle iron rail supports the top of the wall and each stone is secured to this rail with two of these anchors. Position the anchors relatively close to the upper left and upper right sides of each stone. Do not over tighten. My first two stones on each wall were the ones surrounding the culvert. I then worked outwards from there. For the bottom of the stones adjacent to the culvert, we used quarter inch by two inch metal strapping secured with the very same anchors. Next, we'll cut and drill four pieces of quarter inch by two inch metal strapping to length. Each will be evenly spaced apart and bolted to the rail with bolts and nuts. The other end of each strap will pre-drill and drop over each of the four top protruding threads like this. Secure them with a second nut. The two lower exposed bolt threads will have one strap each going back to the lower part of the stones closest to the culvert. By connecting the stones to the culvert like this, we've effectively mirrored the science behind the front suspension of a car. The wall can move up and down, but will not tip outwards. Corrosion protection. Before backfilling with soil, Apply rust protection to all metal parts to make this wall last. I used rust paint. Fold over and secure a galvanized structure for the cement to adhere to. This was done by pre-drilling and installing 1 8 inch anchors to hold the galvanized metal wire mesh. And from here, when I was at work, my wife did the stonework. As you can see, she likes doing these kinds of things. This was a budget-friendly design that seems to have held up so far. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And I'm most definitely sure that there is room for improvement. So please let me know. I hope you got something out of this. Thanks again and see you in the next one.